Hey folks, it's Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. So, um, last week sometime I got in a Timu order and uh, a lot of people had been ordering on this Timu and I saw people have hauls and most everybody I seen liked the things that they got on Timu and Timu is very, very cheap, cheap, cheap stuff. Now, I've had a lot of comments that it comes from China, everything's made in China, and that may very well be. I haven't looked it up myself. I've just gone by what people have told me that uh, some people said, I try not to buy stuff made in China. Some people have said that they researched it and it, the app is from China. The products were shipped from Canada. So that doesn't mean anything. I, I believe them when they say that it's all made in China. I believe that. I, I can believe that. Uh, but I love the Dollar Tree. And um, most of the stuff at the Dollar Tree is made in China. Most of the stuff at the Dollar Store is made in China. <laughs> Go look. You will see. Uh, but most things um, in it that are cheap are made in China. Now, I wish that I could buy all USA made, but Lee pointed out that a lot of things that say made in the USA have some Chinese products in them. So that is so true, especially on our vehicles. And so I'm gonna say it's very hard to avoid uh, made in China. So, uh, this stuff was cheap and, and you know, whatever. You can argue either way, whatever. I had said that I probably wouldn't order any more because they do harass you after you order, maybe even before you order. But, <laughs> but after you've ordered there, you will keep getting ads and coupons and uh, pretty much harassment to order more. So, I said I was going to delete the app and not order any more. I did delete the app, but I ended up putting it back on my phone because there's several things that I really loved. So, if you want to see the whole haul, uh, I will link that below in the description or at the end of this video. But uh, about a week or so ago, we done a, I done a Timu haul that said Timu haul with warnings. Uh, go back and watch that if you haven't, if you want to see my entire haul. But I am going to point out in this video some things that really worked great and maybe a few things that didn't work so great and show you my next haul that I had already ordered from Timu. Now... I don't have my repeat order that I just ordered. This is some, it takes about 10 days to get a Timu order. Um, so this is one that I had ordered right away after I ordered the first haul, I ordered two more. And this is one of those. But I did put the app back on my phone long enough to order some more of the things that I absolutely loved and uh, I got several. I stocked up and got several of these things that I absolutely loved. So I'm gonna show you those and show you my new haul. Uh, and I still do have one more coming and then the repeat order that I ordered will be coming. And when that's all here, I probably will take the app off again. I don't wanna take the app off till I get all of my products in, but as soon as I do, I probably will take it off my phone again so that I don't get all the pop-ups and begging me to buy more and all of that. And I've heard hearsay, hearsay, I don't know. I've heard that uh, Timu is like a Chinese uh, app, kind of like TikTok, that they are watching you. Well, let me tell you something, sister. Uh, if you have an iPhone, if you have a phone, if you have a cell phone, if you have Facebook, YouTube, any of those, they're watching you. So, <laughs> I'm not sure if it matters who exactly is watching you, but I guarantee you, if you've got an iPhone, 
they're watching you. So whatever, but I am gonna take it off just because I get tired of the kind of harassment to buy more. So there you go. Now, so let's show you a few things. Uh, like I said, then this is not all of it. I had a large haul and I liked everything. There wasn't anything in my haul except for that tape that I didn't like. And so far, everything I have tried has worked great. I haven't had any problems. Everything's worked great. Now, th except these maybe, all right, let me get a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about. So these were, um, it came in like a six pack or something. They are little things to keep your like phone cords and stuff. But I thought they were more flexible than they are. They're not real flexible. They kind of, they open up, but they're not flexible like I thought they would be. And so they are kind of hard to get your cord in and out of a little bit. And so, I mean, it works. It works. But it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. And I thought they would close up around your cord. I mean, it's holding the cord. But I thought it would fold up around the cord. And it doesn't. And it's kind of hard to get open and get your cord in there. I really thought they would be more flexible than that. Does work, but I'm not 100% satisfied with that. But it does work. So next thing, these little gadgets that were for an appliance, you peel off the back and you stick it on your appliance and wrap your uh, extension or your, uh, your uh, plug-in cord around it. Here's one on the air fryer works great works great i have one i put one on my air fryer which i hardly ever use we just don't think to use it that much we have a toaster oven we don't have a microwave we have a toaster oven and i've heard some controversy lately about air fryers everything something's gonna kill you one way or another well, now air fryers are going to kill you. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, we uh, I like this little air fryer. It's a small one. And I like it. I just don't think to use it because I'm so used to popping stuff in the toaster oven. So I should use it more than I do. Anyway, but the cord works great on there. I put one on there. I put one on my uh, um, blender. I put one on my um, crock pot. Uh, and I still have one left. So I used, uh, out of four, I used three of them. I still got to find something to use this on. I just haven't looked good yet. Okay, so next, let's move on. This is a plug-in that has multiple um, USB outlets on it. And that works great. We've used it and plugged in a bunch of different things into one plug-in. Works great. Um... I got earbuds. I got um, um, Bluetooth earbuds. I got Lee one and I got me a set and uh, they work great. They work great. We love them. Uh, Lee needed them, kind of needed them for his job because he uh, drives a truck that's really loud and he can't hear his radio. So with the earbud, he can hear the phone, hear on the phone better and he can play his music on his phone and hear it better. And it's Bluetooth. Um, his is just a one side um, earbud and mine are both earbuds and they work great, work great, no complaints, we love them. Okay, um, this is probably my favorite and I said this before on the other video, um, the haul video, this is my favorite thing that I got is this little wooden it's a wooden, it unscrews, and it holds your needles, a needle holder. And uh, it sometimes it's hard to find your needles, for us anyway, because we don't use them as that often. So when we go to looking for one, it's like, oh, what did we do with those needles? Where's those needles? I do have a little sewing kit, but half the time you get in there and there's no needles. <laughs> so now I have them in one little spot and it's made out of wood. It's a neat little thing. And like I said before, all of this stuff that I'm showing you right now 
was $3 or less. And uh, I don't think that's the case with this next haul, but I'm showing this stuff first. Okay, I ordered these. I talked about these. This goes on your Swiffer. Lee said I said it wrong last time. I think I said Swifter, and it's a Swiffer. Anyway, I don't know. I didn't look to see how to pronounce it correctly, but Lee said I said it wrong. So anyway, this goes on your Swiffer. And um, it's microfiber, so it mops them up real good. Well, I ordered two so that I could put them on my feet and walk around the house with them on my feet, uh, dust mopping as I go. And as you can tell, it works. I love them. I love them. I ordered another set, y'all. They come in a one. It comes one at a time. I ordered two more in this next haul I'll be getting. That is one of the things that I ordered more of because I love it so much. So, I've been wearing these around, dust mopping while I walk, and um, I've ordered another two. So, there you go. Now, this next thing is something that I absolutely love. I absolutely love this. Um, I ordered two more sets of these. This is the main reason I put the app back on my phone to order again, because I wanted these exact ones, and I absolutely adore these. But it comes in different sizes. It's these lids, these rubber silicone lids, and they stretch pretty good and will fit on your bowls and things. And they had different sizes. There's a bigger one. I don't know if this is the biggest one, but it fits on my bowl. And I did not have lids for some of these bowls that I would try to put in the refrigerator. And uh, I would have to scoop it out and put it in a plastic bowl to put it in the refrigerator. And I don't have to do that anymore. This is awesome. You just stretch this little sucker right on there. It fits tight and good. And you could use saran wrap, but you know how saran wrap acts. This is tight, fits good, ain't nothing going nowhere out of there. And look at this. The little one fits on cups, glasses. And then there's another size that'll fit a little bit bigger cups. But isn't that awesome? So like you could put a drink or whatever in that and put that lid on it and it ain't going nowhere. And these are some radishes out of my garden. And I put them in this, put a lid on them. Yes, I've got jars. I've got canning jars. I could have done that with and put the uh, um, uh, lid on, but this is just awesome. I don't know. I loved it. I loved it. It came in a set of six. I think I've got two more in the refrigerator. Yeah, this is four. So I've got two more in the refrigerator on stuff. And these are amazing. Amazing. I love them. Love them. So if you watched that haul or watched that haul, Everything else on there, I liked. Uh, everything has been great. I haven't tried every single thing, but as far as I know, there's no problems with anything except that tape. And the tape is good tape. It's only, and I tell you what, the tape is the same kind of tape they've got on the back of these. I can tell you that. And it is very sticky. It's a high heavy duty double-sided tape and it's what they have on the back of that so it's gonna be good tape it just was in a smaller container than they show a smaller roll than they showed on the picture online so i was disappointed in that so also in the other video i mentioned that i didn't get an invoice and i wasn't happy with not getting an invoice but many people pointed out to me that if you get back on, on your app and go to your account, it will show you what all you've ordered and the prices. So you can go back and see your invoice and see what prices. It just doesn't come with a an invoice in the bag. So here's my new haul. Oh, I just dropped something. Oh, there goes another one. Okay, <laughs> this is my newest haul. I'll get that in a minute. This, I don't know what this is. Let's open it and find out. Oh, okay. 
So this is my newest haul. This wasn't much. This was I, this wasn't much at all. A dollar or something. It's a measure equivalence. Measure equivalence. A cup. A cup. One cup equals sixteen tablespoons, or forty-eight teaspoons, or eight fluid ounces, or two hundred and thirty-seven milliliters. So it shows all that and it sticks on your refrigerator. Now, I had seen this in someone else's haul. They showed this, and I thought, oh, I need that. I need that, because I'm always looking up what measurements are compared to milliliters. So, that will come in really handy. I know I will like that. And I don't know what's over there. I'll get it in a minute. I haven't opened all this. I haven't even really looked through all this good. I just knew that I wanted to show y'all what I loved out of that first haul that I ordered again. So this is a instant clothesline. You've seen these, but it was really cheap. I, I, I don't remember the price. I'd have to look it up. I might should have looked these up before I got on here, but I didn't. But cheap, y'all, whatever, I, it's cheap. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's got the bungee cord on each side, bungee cord on each side, so you can hook it wherever, and then you've got these clothespins in between, okay? But that's just a instant clothesline, which I love. I use those a lot. You can also use them to hang herbs. I have used them to hang herbs out on, the other one I had, I used to hang herbs out on my screened in porch with. And here is another type of clothesline. Mm. I have a feeling I wasn't going to be able to get that open. Another type of instant clothesline. Haven't looked at this yet, so we'll look at this together to see what upside down I got it. Another type of instant clothesline. Another type of clothesline. And this one would be good for herbs also. Could hang herbs from that out on my screened in porch, or I can hang undies and socks to dry them, or anything. Undies, socks, uh, wash rags can hang on this out on the porch. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, what else? These, oh, this is a, to go in your bathtub. Hold on. This goes in, ooh, no. Okay, this is not very good quality. This is not a great quality that it appears online. It is, goes in your bathtub for you to scrub your feet on. So it's got suction cups. You suction cup it down in your uh, shower or bathtub to scrub your feet on, but it is not very good quality, but it was cheap. So I have been happy with almost everything I have gotten and showed you. So I'm not too disappointed that a thing or two is not good quality. This isn't, so there you go. This one is not good quality. It's very thin. And these are not very big like it looked like they would be. It looked like they would be thicker, taller. So, I will use it. I will use it for sure. But it's not great quality. And for a buck, you can't expect too much. But not the best thing I've ordered from Timu. Okay? Win some, lose some. There's going to be a few things, I'm sure. And I did have a few people comment um, on my other video that they got things that wasn't good quality. Somebody even said, someone said they had to send a couple things back, which at these prices I probably wouldn't do, but if it was a more expensive item, they sent it back and got their money back right away, they said. So there you go. Uh, one person that watched my video said that, said that they were satisfied anyway because they sent the product back and got their money back right away. 
All right, I needed a new dustpan. I needed a new dustpan, and this is a little one, and I like kind of the idea that it's a little one. I did see something similar to this at the dollar store recently, but it was, I can't remember for sure. It was either $3 or $5, and this was a little bit cheaper than that, but I don't, the brush is not as good. The brush is not as good, but it will work. It will work. I needed one anyway, so I just ordered that because uh, I was ordering and knew I needed the dustpan. So, let's see. Huh? I don't know what this is. Another bag. This is another bag to hold, like, winter clothes or, like, a vacuum bag. But I can't get it open. I can't get it open. Vacuum. It is a vacuum bag. Vacuum compression bag. But I can't get it open, y'all. Hmm. No. Not gonna happen. I'll have to get the scissors. I think. Oh. I have a sore finger. I'm gonna have to get the scissors. Excuse me. Okay. Just couldn't rip that open with my sore finger. It was hurting too bad. That's the zipper piece, okay. It is a big vacuum bag, a very large vacuum bag. Yeah, this is a large one. It's just one of those vacuum bags, but it is very large. <laughs> and there's the vacuum spot, and this is the clip that zips it up. So there you go. It seems to be pretty thick and good quality, actually. I was afraid it would be very thin, but it's not. It's a good quality one. Just saying. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to open nothing. I've got my finger sore again. And I ain't going to be able to open nothing. All right, this is a cheese box. I've never seen these before. It holds your uh, cheese slices. And I will tell you why I got this. Because cheese slices are usually individually wrapped and you don't really have to worry about it but we get a cheese at the dollar store that is not individually wrapped lee loves that cheese it is uh i think it's called all american uh something cheese at the dollar store and it is not individually wrapped it's in one pack that uh, is just together and you have to pull each piece off of the other one. And it's in a square pack like the individually wrapped cheeses. And I'm pretty sure it's All American is the brand. But I saw this cheese box and I thought, oh, that is perfect for his cheese he likes. So there you go. You could use it for any other thing, but they had cheese in it. So I don't know if it's called a cheese box, but anyway, it's just a little plastic box like that. But they had cheese in it when I saw it online. Like it was cheese in there. And I thought, oh, that's perfect for his cheese he likes. Awesome. It's good quality. I don't know if the back opens. It looks like the back may open too, but I don't know why you would want the back to open. But you could use that for anything, I guess. All right, I don't have much more. This second order wasn't near as big as the first order, and I don't know what this is. Yeah, I do. And I think that's it, and that's it. This is a um, dryer, a hang on the porch, an herb dryer, or you could dry whatever. You could dry whatever in it. But it's, uh, I think it's a four tier. A four tier, it comes with a little clip to hang it. And let's see what kind of quality we got here. There it is. And where do you put stuff in it at? Uh, oh, right there. There's a zipper part. Let's see. Let me unzip this. It's not very thick, it's a very thin. It would probably do the job, but it's not thick, good quality. 
but you'd have the zipper. You could zip it on down for each compartment and lay stuff in there to air dry. It's pretty thin and the rope is not very thick either. And then they give you this little clip to hang it up on. So that's it. So that's it. That, that probably works fine, but it's not great quality. Anyway, there you go. Um, you get what you pay for, and some things are cheap. Some things are good quality. Some of this has been really good quality for the price. I am pleased overall. So, there you go. I've got two more packages coming. I probably won't do those unless I get something. I won't do another haul unless I get something awesome like these that I absolutely love. And then I might let you know. So, these, yes. A huge hit with these. Absolutely love them. Huge hit for that. And um, huge hit for the needle container. And um, everything's been pretty good. So there you go. Give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.